Hi guys, we're here in Antarctica where it's pretty chilly. In fact, it's one of the coldest places on Earth. The other day we looked at how penguins have evolved to deal with the extreme weather in Antarctica. Humans haven't evolved in the same way, but instead we've developed materials to see if we can keep warm like penguins. Today we're going to be doing an experiment that you can all try at school. It's about insulation. We're going to see how these three different materials help insulate water that we've heated to body temperature, which is 37 degrees centigrade. We're going to try a cotton tea towel, a fleece hat, and some bubble wrap. Now we're going to wrap each of the containers in the three different materials and leave them for a while in this cold weather. When we come back, we're going to see which material has insulated the water the best. Meanwhile, while that experiment's going on, I've come out to this glacier to talk about how humans keep warm in Antarctica. It's all about layers. Layers, layers, layers. Layers are essential in Antarctica because they allow you to regulate your body temperature. If you're too hot, you take off a layer. If you're too cold, you put another back on. I think I've taken a bit too much off this time. Oh, it's good to have these back on. Right, let's go find out about our experiment. See which was the best insulator. Okay, let's find out which material was the most successful at maintaining the temperature of the water. Which one do you think? Okay, was it the cotton, the fleece, or the bubble wrap? Ooh, the cotton's cooled to five degrees. Oh, nice one, fleece. It's cooled to nine degrees. And the bubble wrap's cooled to seven degrees. So there you have it. Fleece was the winner. And I think there's two things we can take away from this today. The first being that different materials have different insulating properties. And the second being, if you're going to walk to the South Pole, you don't want to be wearing tea towels and bubble wrap. <laughs> <laughs>